10 startling planet discoveries that petrified astronomers. Every time NASA discovers new planets, the events ranks among the most spectacular in the history of space exploration. In the past decades of astronomical research, we have revealed some of the most outlandish worlds ever found. There are worlds that are quite similar to Earth and others that are utterly alien. Wherever these worlds may be, one question that we always ask is, would life be possible there? And if so, how long does it take them to orbit the sun? One thing is for sure, you wouldn't be happy waking up on some of these planets. Come with us as we look into the top 10 most startling planet discoveries that petrified astronomers. Number 10, Kepler 10b. Kepler Space Telescope confirms first extrasolar terrestrial planet Kepler 10b. The planet was revealed on January 10, 2011, after NASA's Kepler mission collected data on Earth-like planets transiting in front of their host stars. Kepler 10b weighs 3.720.42 Earth masses and has a 1.47 Earth radius. Kepler 10b's proximity makes it too hot for life as we know it. Hawaii's WM Keck Observatory confirmed its existence. Kepler 10b's host star is 560 light years away in Draco's constellation. It's about as old as the Sun and the same size. Kepler 10b, the first star orbiting planet, set a precedent. This made it the star's B planet. The star was named after NASA's Kepler mission, which searches for Earth-like planets that transit their host stars as seen from Earth. The planet was discovered on January 10, 2011. Number 9. Trappist 1b Located about 40 light years or 12 parsecs from Earth in the constellation Aquarius, Trappist 1b, also known as 2 mass J23062928 050 b is an exoplanet that is primarily rocky and is similar to Venus. When the planet crossed in front of its host star, it blocked out some of the star's light, allowing astronomers to spot it. First reported on May 2, 2016, investigations in 2017 and 2018 further refined its physical properties. The planet is roughly 12% larger than Earth but has the same mass. Its exceptionally thick and heated atmosphere has been confirmed by spectroscopic studies and its relatively low density. 2018 observations revealed that TRAPPIST-1b's atmosphere was significantly hotter and may be more abundant in carbon dioxide than those of Earth or Venus. Newer computer simulations of the planet's atmosphere have revealed it's too hot for sulfuric acid clouds like those on Venus. Number 8. J1407b Eric Mamajek of the Rochester University announced J1407 eclipses in 2012. In April and May 2007, astronomers observed a complex eclipse of the parent star, which revealed J1407b's ring system. J1407b is a super Saturn because of its huge ring system, 0.6 AU. J1407b is 13 to 26 Jupiter masses with a 3.5 to 13.8 year orbit. The ringed object's mass is 80 Jupiters. 99% doubtful. The ring system may be Earth-sized, a gap in the ring's 61 million kilometers, 0.4 AU, from the system center supports the existence of an exomoon. J1407b has the first transit-observed planetary rings. 2007 saw 56 days of stellar eclipses. Many rings transiting the pattern reveal J1407b. J1407b has a 90 million kilometer radius, 640 times Saturn. Debris-free rings indicate satellites produced from thinner rings. The youthful age, 16 million years, and high mass of the ring system suggest it is an early proto-exomoon or moon. J1407b hasn't been seen since 2007 because of its erratic orbit. This orbit could damage J1407b's rings. Number 7. Korot 7b Korot 7b was the first confirmed rocky extrasolar planet. Korot 7 is a K0 main sequence star 500 light years from Earth, an orange star more incredible than the Sun. The star Korot 7b orbits. In 2009, the French satellite Korot discovered Korot 7, passing before its star. In 2009, the French satellite Korot discovered Korot 7 passing before its star. Korot 7b's 0.85 day orbit around its star covers 2.6 million kilometers, 1.6 million miles. Its star enabled its surface to reach 2,000 degrees Celsius, or 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Korot 7b has a radius of 10,700 kilometers, 6,600 miles, or 1.68 times Earth's, and a mass of no more than 21 times Earth's. Exoplanets larger than Earth but not gas giants are called super-Earths. Korot 7b's group was established by analyzing its radial velocity in reaction to its planet's gravity. Korot 7b's density was similar to Earth's, indicating it was a rock rather than a gas like Jupiter. Korot 7c, identified via radial velocity measurements, has a mass of 8.4 times that of Earth, and an orbital period 
period of 3.7 days at 6.9 million kilometers, or 4.3 million miles. 6. GJ436b GJ436b is the same size as Neptune and orbits an M-type star. Its mass is 22.1 Earths and its distance from its star is 0.0291 AU. These results were released in 2004. This planet is 33 light years away. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope found that a hot planet orbiting a star different than our Sun has no methane. At 1000 Kelvin, any planets having hydrogen, carbon and oxygen should have a lot of methane and little carbon monoxide according to the atmospheric simulations. Spitzer's observations reveal the planet lacks 800 Kelvin methane. The world is too tiny to be a rocky super-Earth, yet too big to be mainly hydrogen gas like Jupiter. Scientists assume it's made of a unique ice resistant to melting owing to pressure rather than cold. Number 5. WASP-12b Super WASP identified a hot Jupiter orbiting WASP-12 on April 1, 2008. The planet's orbit around its star is about a day, compared to Earth's 365.25 days. Its eccentricity is the same as Jupiter's, and its distance from the star is a fraction of Earth's from the Sun. The star's radiation makes its population density low compared to other exoplanets. Hubble Space Telescope HST team reported water vapor in the exoplanet's atmosphere on December 3, 2013. NASA discovered three exoplanets with dry atmosphere in July 2040. Tidal locking transports heat from hot Jupiter exoplanets irradiated light to their colder dark side. This may create high velocity winds that lash the atmosphere. Tidal forces stretch the globe into an egg shape and pull away its atmosphere at 107 mj, 189 quadrillion tons annually. Closeness to its star and tidal heating give the planet a 2,500 Kelvin surface temperature. Hubble consumed WASP-12 on May 20, 2010. Astronomers have never witnessed a star annihilate a world so precisely. NASA estimates 10 million years from Earth. Number 4. HD 106906b HD 106906b is a candidate for an extrasolar planet that orbits HD 106906, a star in the constellation Crux, approximately 33,613 light years away from Earth. HD 106906b has the mass of a planet. It has a group about 11 times that of Jupiter and is located approximately 738 astronomical units away from its host star. Even though its mass estimate is nominally consistent with identifying it as an exoplanet, HD 106906b is a scarce astronomical object because it appears to be located at a much greater distance from its parent star than was previously thought possible in situ formation from a protoplanetary disk. This contradicts the fact that its mass estimate is nominally consistent with identifying it as an exoplanet. 2005 marked the beginning of observations of HD 106906 by the Magellan telescopes at the Las Campanas Observatory in the Atacama Desert of Chile. This was approximately eight years before the discovery of the companion. The debris disk of HD 106906A was the principal focus of early investigation because the star was a pre-main sequence member of Lower Centaurus Crux. Number 3. 55 Cancri E 55 Cancri E was found by studying its host star's radial moon, like most exoplanets before Kepler. Using 55 Cancri A's Doppler shift, it was done. This planet joined a stellar system with three others. After accounting for these planets, we still see a signal around 2.8 days that may be from a 14.2 Earth mass world in a tight orbit. 55 Cancri C was found using the same methods. 55 Cancri E was one of the first Neptune-like planets found. Glias 436b was discovered with Glias 436. Each orbits Glias 436. Jack Wisdom's 2005 data reanalysis cast doubt on planet E. He hypothesized that the 2.8 day planet was an alias and that a 260-day planet circled 55 Cancri. Fisher et al. 2008 found 2.8-day and 260-day worlds. Dawson and Fabrici determined that the 2.8-day planet is 0.7365 days. After nearly two weeks of photometric surveillance with the most satellite telescope, the planet transited on April 27, 2011. Number 2. Kepler 70b Kepler 70b is a rocky exoplanet with a 0.76 AU radius and a 0.44 mj mass. It's the hottest exoplanet ever found at 7000 Kelvin. Nobody knows if it's hotter than the Sun's surface. The exoplanet has a 5.76 hour orbit. PSR 1719-14b 
is more massive, but Kepler-70's planets orbit a star remnant, thus its second. Kepler's host star is a subdwarf B-type star that evolved from a red giant 18.4 million years ago. Its surface is 27,730,270 Kelvin, or six times as hot as the Sun's surface. The star's mass and radius are shown in. It will eventually fuse the remaining helium in its core, decreasing to Earth size. The star appears 14.87 magnitudes luminous from Earth. Therefore, human eyes can't see Kepler-70. Kepler-70c and Kepler-70b are 240,000 kilometers apart, which could cause tidal effects. This is the closest two planets have ever been. Number 1. Kepler-16b the Kepler spacecraft found Kepler-16b, known as Kepler-16b AB. This Saturn-sized planet takes 229 days to orbit the binary star Kepler-16. Kepler-16b was discovered by NASA's Kepler spacecraft. This is the first proved unambiguous example of a circumbinary planet, stated Josh Carter of the Center for Astrophysics. Using the transit method, Kepler-16b was found by observing the dimming of one star while the other was not eclipsing it. The length and timing of Kepler-16b's eclipses and transits have allowed for extraordinarily exact predictions of the sizes and masses of objects in the system. Lawrence Doyle of the SETI Institute in Mountain View, California, led the team that found Kepler-16b. Its radius is known to be 0.3% precision, making Kepler-16b the best characterized exoplanet. Also, Kepler-16b's radius is far within the inner limit for planet formation in a binary star system. To maintain a stable orbit around such a system, a planet must be seven times as far from the stars as the stars are from each other, says MIT planetary expert Sarah Seeger. Well, that marks the end of today's video. I hope you had fun. Remember to like and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.